South Korea's biting satirist Bong made history at hand. So, South Korea South Korea's Bong Joon-ho has confirmed his status as one of world's greatest directors with his Cannes Film Festival win for Parasite, a fabulously funny morality tale about the widening gap between rich and poor. It is the first big international prize for the maker of the hugely acclaimed The Host and Smithirter, who has been the critic's choice for the founder. Stellar performances from Bond's followers including Lee, Jiang Moon and Song Kang Ho, as the patriarch of the clan of scammers who latch onto a rich family, blew away audiences at hand. The director called Song his alter ego and ushered him onto the stage as he picked up the prize. He later kneeled in front of the 52. Tyson year old actor and offered him the con. The Guardian hailed Bond's thrilling black comedy as a twisted modern day Downton Abbey which gets its tendrils in you. Yes, the soft spoken 49, Tyson year old Bond hides his gift for biting social satire behind a mild mannered exterior. With a series of critical and commercial hits behind him, Bond is one of South Korea's best known faces, winning multiple awards at home and tellingly making inroads into Hollywood a rarity for an Asian tour. But up till now, major international prizes had eluded him. Bong is now the first Korean ever to win the top prize at the World's Biggest Film Festival after he missed out two years ago with his next life produced sci-fi action adventure Ocha, starring Tilda Swinton. Wins licensed by Quentin Tarantino to Steven Spielberg in his prime, the director was among the first wave of South Korean filmmakers to blossom after the country's full democratization in the late 1980s, which opened the door for a cultural renaissance. His contemporaries in the golden Korean generation include Park Chan-wook, the celebrated director of the 2004 Cannes winner Old Boy and the erotic thriller The Handmaiden. Bong reportedly took part in three protests as a sociology student at Seoul Dui Jinsai University during the country's pro-democracy movement in the 80s, and once told an interviewer he had been arrested for using petrol bombs. That rage roared through Parasite, which Variety's Jessica Kang said was a tip back with the bitter blood of class rage. She said Bong's brilliant film is unmistakably, roaringly furious and it registers because the target is so deserving, so enormous, so 2019. Bong was a vocal backer of freedom of expression and opponent of one's commonplace political pressure on artists in his homeland. His activism sought him place among more than 10,000 artists who were blacklisted for being critical about his former president Park Jun hai But it was his masterful, humorous portrayal of South Korean society delivered in rich with cinematic allegory, that marked out his talent. Bong told reporters after picking up his pants prize that he likes to write his scripts in a case listening to people talking so he can stay big, just with how people think. That engagement with real life has been there since the start. The film also traced for its dark humor swept all domestic film awards, and is often cited by critics as one of the top 10 South Korean movies ever made. His 2006 monster blockbuster The Host portrayed an incompetent government left helpless in the wake of a disaster. In 2014, parallels were drawn between the film and the soul fairy thinking that killed 300, mostly school children. Mother of 2009 thriller about the overprotective mother of a mentally disabled boy suspected of murder was also a huge success. Both his monster movie The Host and Mother were shown at hand the latter cementing Bond's reputation, and he was soon flooded by overseas directorial offers. Bond's first United States project, Mr. featured Hollywood heavyweights including cast in America star Chris Evans as well as Clinton, who went on to perform in Ocha. That movie about a country girl trying to save a genetically engineered beast from a breeding multinational firm also raised debates about factory farming and the brutality of animal exploitation. Many people call me a great satirist, but I don't think I had a choice as a South Korean filmmaker, Song told AFP last year. Flash, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.